Hi, I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is E.J. Floreal, a sophomore on the Palo Alto basketball team. Last week, uh, E.J. played in three games. He scored 70 points. He grabbed 31 rebounds. Uh, in two of the games, he had uh, 51 points and uh, 24 rebounds. In two league games, that Pally won to stay in first place in the SCVL De Anza division. And for that performance, EJ is the Palo Alto Weekly Boys Athlete of the Week. Uh, again, two big games last week, uh, league games. You had 27 and 24 in wins over Los Gatos on the road and Homestead. Uh, in hindsight, uh, huge games because uh, gun loss last night. You have a two-game lead going into a big game this weekend. Um, just a uh, big performance for you. Normally, you hadn't been scoring that many points. Um, well, my teammates were just able to give me the ball where I was open, where I was able to score, and I was able to grab some boards, get some putbacks to give us um, a pretty comfortable lead against those two teams. Um, it's just two huge wins, you know, two game lead in first place. This game Friday is going to be huge. We got to win this to get first in league. The uh, your parents are not bath, uh, basketball inclined. Your mom is uh, an Olympic uh, medalist in the hundred hurdles. Your dad is a three-time NCAA triple jump champion. Uh, how did you get into basketball and not track and field? Well, I mean, obviously we're a pretty athletic family, so you know I knew I was going to get into athletics, and um, I started out playing, you know, soccer, basketball, football, you know, the core sports. And out of them all, I liked basketball the most. It was just the most fun. I really got to any all the athletic abilities I have really play out in basketball. You know, my jumping ability, my speed, and my overall awareness. And it's just the sport I fell in love with. The uh, Palo Alto basketball team again is in first place uh, heading into this week after a Tuesday night win. They were seven and one in league. Um, the um, the team has a new coach, Adam Sachs, and uh, you have uh, pretty much a lot of the players back from last season. What makes this team different uh, than last year's team? Um, last year's team was a little more, uh, they were older, they were more experienced. We had more seniors and juniors on that roster, so they really knew what, you know, what they were doing, how to play, and uh, how to just play at this level. Last year we had two underclassmen, this year they're about there's three, but we're just a like a pretty much a new team. A lot of JV players that came up, um, a lot of sophomores, uh, and it's just um, the whole the whole thing is experience. But the way we play is kind of the same. We're just like to run the ball. Our athletic team we got some great shooters. You know, I feel like we're an all-around team. The uh, despite the fact the Palo Alto football team played in Division One, the, the basketball team will be in Division Two for CCS, which means uh, uh, Midi and the WCL teams are in that division as well. Uh, any expectations uh, for the postseason this year? Um, I think we have a very good chance of winning CCS. Um, you know, I, we could definitely get to the semifinals again. We can definitely get to the finals. Um, toughest opponent would probably be Midi. They're a really good all-around team. Have some really good players. But I really feel like this team could go win CCS, go off to NorCal's, and I just feel like we have a good year. Good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you.